My Lord, I'd like to address you on only one point that I had being raised by my learned friend, <coughs> Mr. Mahat. My Lord, you asked a very pertinent question. What does it mean to the voter turnout of 96% when it is said that 1.6 million voters were not identified biometrically? The answer Mr. Mahat gave to you, my lord, was that that was based on a misapprehension of what the complementary mechanism is. My lord, in the run-up to the 8th of August elections, the fourth respondent engaged in a number of uh, litigation matters at the High Court to clarify a number of issues for the election. One of those issues was what exactly is the complementary mechanism that is contemplated under Section 44A of the Elections Act. We litigated at the High Court and eventually ended up at the Court of Appeal, my Lord, in Civil Appeal Number 258 of 2017. Except, my Lord, for the petitioners, all the parties in Petition Number 4 were parties to that action, to that appeal save for the third respondent in this petition number four who was represented by the Jubilee Party. My Lord, in the course of that appeal, an internal mem uh, memo surfaced. The memo, my Lord, was dated the 27th of July, 2017, by the IEBC. That memo, my Lord, is signed by the CEO of the IEBC, Ezra Chiloba, and it basically set out what a complementary mechanism under Section 44A is. My lords would, like, would want to know that the parties then went on to record a consent, which the IEBC was a party to, agreeing that that internal memo, the complementary mechanism, is what is defined in that memo. And this is what it is, my lord. It is where a voter cannot be identified using biometrics then the presiding officer shall use a complementary mechanism of alphanumeric search in the presence of agents, and the voter shall fill form 32A before being issued with six ballot papers. That is a complementary mechanism, where a voter cannot be identified uh, using biometrics. So the contention by my learned friend that the misapprehension was based on the manner in which the, uh, the voters were identified, in the sense that those who were identified alphanumerically were in fact also identified biometrically, cannot lie. It is inconsistent, unless, of course, the IEBC is now saying that after the 8th of August elections, a new complementary mechanism was established. And this is the very reason why we went to the High Court, to establish what exactly this complementary mechanism is. due respect, my lords. Humbly, he's opening up areas where you cannot respond. Yes. So, my lord, all I'm saying is that... It is very pertinently unfair. My lord, this is a decision. I've cited the civil appeal number, uh, and I'm only making this known to the court, so that as you retire to write your decision, my lord, you need to be mindful that the court of appeal has made a, a decision which has not been appealed from, my lord, on what the complementary mechanism is. That is all I wish to state. Thank you, my lord. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Mahat, yes. Yes. I'll give you a minute. You are saying, come, 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 come up front. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I asked you specifically about 1.6 million voters said not to have been identified by the Kim's kids. Yes. And he's disputing, he's saying you are following some other, uh, what, mechanism which is not uh, allowed by law. No. Can you clarify that? My Lord, that, that, is not the, that is not the position. Is the microphone on? Yes, I okay. think it is on. My Lord, uh, to the question, so the 44A says that any person who is not identified by biometrically, then you go to a complementary mechanism. Yes. The complementary mechanism that you are talking of, when someone talks of alphanumeric search, the court sh should be mindful, what does it mean? Yes. Alphanumeric search, and I have explained to you, there are three modes within which the Kim's kit identifies a person. 
The first mode is through the biometric, uh, through the fingerprint. And I've said 5.5 million Kenyans were identified through the fingerprint on the 26th of, of August, the, 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 the thumbprint. For the persons whose thumbprint cannot be read, what we do is we take the ID cards and we have an MRZ scanner. And that ID is scanned, his details pop up. What we tell is localization, because you are looking through 7,000 fingerprints in one kit, 700 people times 10 fingerprints. Uh, and even when you go to hospital sometimes, my lords, you will get a false uh, acceptance rate. You are told you, 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 have, you have a disease which you don't have when this test is, so they are false negative. So, but when we localize for 10 fingerprints, we lower the, the false rejection rate, the rate which someone can be told that he's not in the KIM, but he actually is. So when we do the documentary research with the, documentary research with the MRZ scanner, the idea of the person does not come in. Now, the third aspect is what happens when for senior citizens when, who have, or persons who have not kept their ID and passports very well, we take the, the, the ID uh, details, we put in, we'll take their names and the ID number. What happens is the Kim's kit now will produce their details, both the 10 fingerprints as well as the ID details, the, the biographic data. After that, we tell them, because maybe their, their thumbprint, because we start with the thumbprint, does not have all the details, we tell them to put any of the other fingers, some of them the 10, others the 9. Then we identify them. So the idea that through alphanumeric search, it means that some, not, some person has not been identified biometrically is not true. In fact, you are identified through your ID details. And secondly, you are identified through biometric. The complementary mechanism that it has in mind, because every, all those people are identified through the Kim's kit, and they are identified biometrically. The complementary mechanism that we don't have is what happens to the person who cannot even, after the alphanumeric search, his details do not come in. Okay. Then the manual complementary mechanism kicks in, which is we have the re physical register through an, or there's a process for even that. We have a physical register. We look through the register. It has their biographic data, the ID and everything, and we look through it and we cancel out. We put that register after the end of the polling station into the ballot boxes where we are 32A has also been generated, which is put there. So the idea is you have to understand the Kim's kit for you to actually make some, uh, some of those uh, uh, submissions that they are making. And every person has been identified through that, uh, that process. So, so the alpha, what do you call it? The, the, alpha, <laughs> the alpha numeric search. Yes, it's part of, it's part of it's the part, identification. It ends up with a biometric identification. Okay. Yes. All right. That's true. That's true.